I'll continue with uh, an explanation of the work which is presented there. Um, the work is titled Ma, and all the titles of, of these artworks are in Afrikaans. Um, Afrikaans is actually my first language, and in South Africa it is seen as the language of the oppressor, okay, because in terms of the history of, of South Africa and um, apartheid history, apartheid was set up by Afrikaners or previously Dutch colonizers. So that's quite interesting. Can I speak of it? Okay, so the visual narrative begins with a single narrow sheet of aluminum creeping into shot and towards the viewer, out of the frame. It moves alongside a stationary yellow measuring tape positioned to the side. Before long, it becomes clear that as soon as the metal sheet touches the red line, which runs perpendicular to the tape, Something noteworthy occurs. Once the affected section of metal crosses over the line, it settles and moves on. However, the strong links to domestic and industrial labor deepens the aforementioned race class associations of this work. So as I said, the work is titled Ma, which directly translated is mom or mother um, in English. So, in terms of how this relates to the, the Fanonian uh, writings or texts that initially um, inspired this exhibition, um, Nia asserts that Fanon's reading of Lelouch and Martinique woman worked as a laundress was skewed. In his metaphorical analysis, he overlooks her social struggles and the lack of autonomy and it declares that her employment is out of self-interest. His assumption is that she wants to bleach her skin like the clothes she washes. Historically, South Africa's patriarchal colonial regime determined the limited employment and economic opportunities of black grouping. So meaning, within the South African um, context, black means a number of different things. Uh, black means uh, colored, which is mixed race. And I know that colored is a derogatory term. Uh, but colored is seen as, uh, in the hierarchy, as better quality person than black, okay? And this is how, this is set up by the individuals themselves or the groups themselves. This is set up by a regime. This is how the government categorized people. So white at the top, colored next, Indian next, Asian next, and then lastly at the bottom is black. For women, this was particularly challenging, as the permutation of racial and gender subjugation led to extreme levels of internalized subordination, disempowerment, and poverty. The intent behind this work was to explore lifetime and intergenerational perpetuation of trauma lived and passed on via one's mother. More specifically, the idea was to focus on our vicarious experiences, life-changing moments in our own histories with our own mothers. So this is just, as I said, it's a, it's a short excerpt from a text that, that I've written and, and published. Um, and there's, there's a lot more to this work um, that I'm not going to share with you unless you ask me to. Um, but the work is really something that's quite universal in terms of uh, feminism and gender equality. And on top of that, in this instance, there's, yes, there's in huge inequality and disparity between genders, but to top it all, there's also the race issue, and there's also the class issue, and the two are interlinked, okay? Race and class in South Africa is very close because as, you, as I explained, the hierarchy in terms of how resources are distributed white at the top, black at the bottom. Okay, do you have any...